you know, I figured I'd open this video out with the standard T Martin, like, what's going on, guys? Space here. But I figured just to do it how I normally do it, you know, there's no, no sense in me mixing anything up now. But today I had, I woke up, I had training for my new job. I'm a snowboard instructor, one of the mountains in my state. And I had training today. So I came home from training and I was really tired. So. I hopped on some Call of Duty just to play, you know, I had some things to get done, but little did I know that this day of Call of Duty was going to be very interesting, it wasn't going to be like anything else that's ever happened before, uh, for me and for my YouTube channel, because I've never uploaded, uh, I've never uploaded like a nuclear gameplay before, because I've never really, like on Black Ops 2, I was way too focused with competitive to try it. But on this game, you know, it, it's weird because I, I didn't even try for it. I was actually, this game, I was going for my gear for the Purifier. I was going for the Diablo gear, the multi-kills with the Purifier. I was going for the, the Fire Break, you know, that stuff for Hero, and I, I got it. I did that. But I also got something else. I didn't expect that I was going to get a nuclear this game at all. I was running UAV, counter UAV, and hater just to level up. I went into this with literally no intentions of going for a nuclear. Getting a nuclear was the furthest thing from my mind, right? And I'm just gonna take you through this game. So it's hard point on Nuketown. I'm gonna be a generic YouTuber and give you guys tips on how to get a nuclear. Even though there's thousands of videos out there already that you could watch, and why you're watching mine is beyond me, but basically what I did is I didn't care. And that's the biggest advice I can give you. That's the biggest piece of advice. I was running a VMP with extended mag and rapid fire. No long barrel, no grip. Extended mag, rapid fire. And then my perks were flat jacket, overclock, or it might be ghost overclock, I'm not 100% sure. Fast hands in the middle, and then gung ho and tack mask as my perk 3, so. No scavenger, none of that, I was not prepared for a nuclear this game. Like I said, I, I never run overclock, I was running overclock so I could constantly get my purifier. Um, so... It's on Nuketown, it's an SMG. I'm not going up against the most favorable opponents. There's shotguns on the other team, you know. There's a lot of stuff that could go wrong. Somebody has kinetic armor on the other team, you know. There's a lot of things, there's a lot of factors that play into getting a nuclear. And you don't really think about it until you, you start playing. And here, I started getting, this is in-game, this isn't theater live. I was one bar and I was getting lag. Which even more is just me being like, wow, I, sh I don't know how I got a nuclear. I'm not saying I shouldn't have. I probably shouldn't have. But here, like, those hit markers didn't pop up until I hit the ground. And I'm just getting around. And, like, once this lag was happening, the furthest thing from my mind was getting nuclear. And, like, stuff like this, like, you know, like, so many things just happen in the scope of getting the nuclear. And then here's the lag again. And that my teammate kills him, you know. And I want to say this, I want to stress this, and I don't, I can't stress this, uh, I can't stress this enough, guys. Don't put trust in your teammates at all. Not even the little, the littlest bit of trust in them. There's no point, it's bad, because you can put too much trust in them, it's risky. Don't trust your teammates. Don't have faith in your teammates. Right here, I run out of ammo, this is whole scavenger thing, so I run over to find a gun. And, you know, it's just, like I said, so many things, like, you would run Scavenger, you wouldn't have this problem, you'd have the same gun over and over again. But the hater does help. That's why that whole UAV counter UAV hater thing, even if stuff gets shot down, if you get a hater, you're good. And the purifier shreds. You're going to see, I get, I think, seven people with this purifier just helping me get these rapid kills. I got this in, I got it done in one game. I was at zero. All right. <clears throat> so... I'm running around, I I know all the hard points for this map, and I'm, I'm going to say this right now, guys. The the best map to get this on is Nuketown. I'm going to tell you this, you know why? Because all the maps, you know, you, you, you haven't really experienced any of these maps, right? 
like religiously any of the new maps. Nuketown, we've been playing for three years, right, on Call of Duty Plus. Because Black Ops 1 came out, I'm just saying, within life cycles, you've been playing Nuketown for three years. Alright. Still, I have no idea the kill streak I'm on here at this point. I didn't even know I got a relentless. All I know is I killed this guy. I picked up an HVK and I started killing things. Alright. Now, this is where the hater really comes in handy, and this is also where their team being kind of dumb helped me because I got stuck on that. I'm kind of panicking at this point. Now, if you're going to notice, look at my mini-map, and my hater is going to pop somebody up on the other side of the map right now. So I know, hey, there, there's no point in me being on that side of the map. i got to go to the other side of the map to get these kills. And I'm going to pick up two kills right here. I got one guy weak that saved me, and I get the brutal. And when I see that pop up, I'm like, holy shit, I have a brutal. So I'm like, I gotta go for this nuclear now. So it's five kills. And this is where I start stressing, but I keep my calm, right? So that's three kills that I've gotten. I come over here, I reload, I'm running around. There's one person here, I kill them, and I turn around right now, and I get the nuclear right there, right? So here's what I'm gonna say. Don't stress out, alright, that, that was the best part of the gameplay. I'm using the rest of the gameplay just to talk, because I get the unstoppable, I get that unstoppable, and I die. I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you go in, and you say, I have to get a nuclear, you're not gonna get a nuclear. And I'm gonna tell you why you're not gonna get a nuclear. Because any Call of Duty game, I've been playing since Modern Warfare 2, alright? Takes you a long time to start playing like this, alright? Every Call of Duty game ever released. The game is 90% mental, 10% physical. What I mean by physical is reaction time, stuff like that. If you can outsmart people, you can win a majority of the gunfights in the game. You can do whatever you want to people if you outsmart them. Now, I'm not saying go Cosby, people. I'm talking about within the range of Call of Duty, right? You can win any gunfight if you outsmart somebody. Unless you're really bad. Okay, if you're decent at the game... You know how to play, it's not your first time playing Call of Duty ever. If you outsmart somebody, you should win the gunfight. When you start thinking, I need to get a nuclear, that's when you start psyching yourself out. And when you start getting psyched out, that's when you start getting nervous. And that's when you start the countdown, right? The worst thing you can do in anything in a nuclear, in the bloodthirsty challenges for Dark Matter or Diamond or whatever you're going for worst thing you can do is count down right you can't be like four kills left two kills left like you can't start at a nuclear on free-for-all right if you want to go for nuked out go ahead all right but you can't be like 14 kills to go 13 kills to go 12 kills to go because you're going to psych yourself up so much to the point where you're not gonna think the only thing on your mind is i have to get this nuclear your mind isn't in the game your mind isn't what are my opponents doing your mind isn't, what can I do to kill people? And I know I don't get a dub double nuclear. Like I said, I'm using all this to talk over. Going in to a game, trying for a nuclear and not getting it, you might as well quit for the next two days trying to get a nuclear, okay? Because when you get mad, say you're at like 23 kills and you die, you're going to be mad. You being mad inhibits your mental ability to play. When you're mad, you're not going to play as well as you would if you're playing just calm, cool, collective. I was using this as a fun game. I wasn't really trying. I was going for haters. I was going for my purifier gear. I wasn't like, oh, I have to do good, man. You psych yourself up when you go into a pub and you're like, I have to do good. No, there's, there's no reason for you to do good. It's a pub, you know? But if you get mad while going for a nuclear or a nuked out, you might as well stop for the next two or three days. Because you're going to be playing mad. And you might think, oh no, if I take a break, I'll be fine. No, 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 no. Because you're going to start going for that in the same day and you're going to get even more mad. Your anger's just going to build. And the more angry you get, the less like it, likely it is that you're going to get a nuclear. You're just not going to get a nuclear that way. And it sounds ridiculous when I say, yeah, I wasn't trying for a nuclear. Uh, you know, I was trying in the game. I was trying to get my purifier kills. But somehow that resulted in a nuclear. I, like, when I got that, I was like, what the fuck just happened? I literally saw the Brutal, and I was like, I'm on a fucking Brutal? I was like, oh shit, I gotta get these five next kills, right? And that, but right when I said that, I was like, no, 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 don't think that, don't count down, and I still started counting down the kills. 
you know, because I didn't, I wanted to make sure that I could play until the point where I would get the nuclear. I wanted to make sure that I could play and be sure that I would secure the nuclear at that point, because if you try for it and you count down, like, you psych yourself out way too much. And I do that with my blood, I did that with my bloodthirsties, especially on snipers in this game and on Black Ops 2, I did that for diamond snipers. I psyched myself out way too much to go for that. Way too much. Because I would count down the kills, and then I would die at four, and I would get mad. I would die at four out of five kills with a sniper, and I would get all mad, because I tried to do it on Nuketown. Alright? So I got all mad about it, and then you might as well kiss it goodbye. I mean, if I can kiss five kills goodbye when I'm mad, there's no way that I would be able to get close to 30 without dying. You know? But, honestly... I'm telling you, don't try. Don't go into a game and be like, I need to get a nuclear. Because a lot of the reasons why people go for nuclears, I'm guessing, oh, it looks cool, it's a challenge, or their friends have all gone to nuclear. Now listen, if people are going to pester you that you didn't get 30 kills without dying on a video game, probably aren't the people you want to be playing Call of Duty with, because that seems pretty toxic. It's a challenge, people remember. Challenges are supposed to be challenging, they're supposed to be fun. Anyway, the gameplay's wrapping up here. I hope you all enjoyed. It sounds ridiculous. Don't try for a nuclear. Don't go into a game.